Hello everyone, what's going on? I'm Gareth with Mass974 back again today and welcome to another Source Shorts video. I know I haven't done one of these for a little bit. That's because I wanted to get a bunch of Valve Source Code tutorial follow-up videos out the way, which I am nearing the end of. And another part of that reason is that, you know, I need to add and edit more GitHub code, which is just going to take more time and then there's more videos to do, which means it's less time spent working on the follow-up videos. So. That's why I kind of decided to take a little break from the source short stuff, but in a recent Valve source code tutorial follow-up video, specifically one about the full holster sequence, I did talk about, briefly, how you would go about disabling auto-reloading, and I had the thought, well, someone might find this useful, and to have that buried in a separate Valve source code tutorial follow-up video is probably not helpful. So what I decided to do was do this short shorts video. So yeah, let's get right into what you need to do. So what you want to do is go into your source code games or everything solution. It doesn't really matter which one of the two you go to. But what you want to do is go to the file base HL combat weapon shared dot CPP. And near the top of the file, you'll see the function item holster frame. And if you scroll down a little bit, then you'll see this section. Now normally it would just be this part of the if statement which checks to see if the current time minus the holster time is greater than the auto reload time and if it is then it just finishes the reload so your weapon reloads automatically when it's been switched out for 3 seconds. Now what I said in the valve source code tutorial follow up video was that you could just simply get rid of the finish reload line like that and that completely disables the auto reloading feature, at least for the vast majority of weapons. But what I decided to do for this video was be a little bit more creative than that. So as you can see here, what I decided to do was add a convar, call it SK allow auto reload, and you just define it like you see here, just in speech marks SK allow auto reload, give it an initial value of one, a flag of FC var replicated, and a help string if necessary. Now, what this convar will do is it will allow auto reloading if it is true and disable it if it is false. And the way to implement it, as you can see here, is in the if statements that I just talked about, about the auto reload time. You can also check to see if the allow auto reload ball is true. Now, that would be all well and good, but there is actually one file that you would need to go to weapon shotgun.cpp because that overloads or rather should I say overrides the item holster frame function to do pretty much the exactly the same thing that base HL combat weapon shared does however the implementation of the auto reloading is a bit different so what you'd want to do near the top of the file is add extern convar sk allow auto reload so it knows to find a convar from a different file and then in the item holster frame function, in that auto reload check, which already exists, then just do sk allow auto reload dot get ball and to make it so this only happens if auto reloading is enabled. And that's pretty much all you need to do. If you save compile the code, you should have no issues. And if you launch into a game, then if auto reloading is allowed, then you can fire random weapons for a random amount of time, switch between them. And what you should find is all of them should auto reload. But if you turn the convar off, set the value to zero, and then do the same sort of thing, then you can switch between all the weapons and the amount of ammo left in the magazine should be preserved. So I thought I'd just do this as a quick little video to get out before I get the next Valve Source Code tutorial follow-up video out. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out, take care, see you later. Hopefully the next Valve Source Code tutorial follow-up video won't be too long after this video goes live, but yeah, if there's any issues or anything that you feel that I should have added to this, then let me know, and yeah, see you next time.